Hi, this is Mato. This video is just a small clip from an awesome DVD called The King Hunt. I hope that you will enjoy it. This is a game between Palau and Colste, played in 1927. Palau started with knight to f3, very flexible move. Knight to f6, d4, g6. Knight to c3, d5. Bishop to f4. Knight to h5, attacking the bishop. Bishop to e5. f6, bishop to g3. Knight takes on g3. h takes on g3. Yes. Black captured bishop. White does with bishop. But now, white has three of his pieces developed. White rook is on the semi-open file. So, is it worth it or not? Let's see. The game continued. c6, e3, bishop to g7, bishop to d3, e5, white to move. Black is threatening e4. What would you do? Please pause and find the solution for white's problem. It's not really a problem. Play with white pieces, so this move. Rook takes on h7. King to f7. If rook takes rook, then bishop takes on g6 check. Winning black rook. So we have king to f7. It is a white to move. Black is still threatening e4. How would you continue now? Play with the white pieces found this amazing move. Bishop takes on g6 check. King takes on g6. What is the follow up? This is the follow up. Knight takes on e5. F takes on e5. Let's take it back. How about king takes rook? If king takes rook, then a queen to h5 check. King to g8. If bishop to h6, then check mate on g6. So king must go to g8. And then queen to f7 check. King to h7. And how would you continue now? Then castling and rook to h1 is deadly. Back to our game. So, player with the black pieces played f takes on e5. Queen to h5 check, king to f6. Queen takes pawn on e5 check, king to f7. White to move and to play the obvious. What is the obvious? Queen takes on g7 check, king to e6. White to move and to check mate in one. Queen to e5 check. Would you like to see more patterns like this and learn when it is the right time to sacrifice? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please click on the link below the video and start sharpening your king hunting skills. Bye for now.